Rheumatoid fever is an inflammatory disease that can affect the heart, joints, skin, and brain. The disease typically follows streptococcal throat infection. Rheumatoid fever is an acute, non-infectious, inflammatory sequela to a group A beta hemolytic, streptococcal streptococcus pyogenes, pharyngitis, with joint, skin, subcutaneous, SC, neurologic, and cardiac symptoms appearing shortly after the infection. First attack of acute RF usually occurs in children between 5 and 15 years of age. Develops over 1 to 5 weeks, average, 20 days, after a group A streptococcal. Streptococcus pyogenes, pharyngitis, pharynx is the only site for infection leading to RF. But only 25% of patients have a positive pharyngeal culture for group A streptococcus with lab tests. Risk factors for developing streptococcal pharyngitis include crowding and poverty. RF is common in impoverished countries. Young age. Recurrent RF produces chronic heart valvular disease. Pathogenesis of RF. Antibody-mediated disease that follows a group A streptococcal infection of the pharynx. Host develops antibodies against group A streptococcal M proteins. Antibodies that are produced cross-react with similar proteins in human tissue, called mimicry. Antibodies that are produced react against endocardium, myocardium, cardiac myosin and sarcolemal membrane protein, as well as joints and skin. Type 2 antibody-mediated HSR, hypersensitive reaction. Clinical findings. Symptoms include fever, painful joints with those joints affected changing with time, involuntary muscle movements, and occasionally a characteristic non-itchy rash known as erythema marginatum. Migratory polyarthritis, tilde 75% of cases, it is most common initial presentation of acute rheumatoid fever. Arthritis involves the large joints, knees, ankles, and wrists. No permanent joint damage. Pain responds to aspirin, characteristic finding. Damage to the heart valves usually occurs only after multiple attacks but may occasionally occur after a single case of RF. The damaged valves may result in heart failure and also increase the risk of atrial fibrillation and infection of the valves. Carditis, tilde 35% of cases, most serious complication of rheumatoid fever. Pancarditis that includes pericarditis, myocarditis, and endocarditis. Chronic rheumatic heart disease, RHD, is characterized by repeated inflammation with fibrinous repair. The cardinal anatomic changes of the valve include leaflet thickening, commissural fusion, and shortening and thickening of the tendinous cords. Askoff bodies are present in myocardial tissue lesions have a central area of fibrinoid necrosis surrounded by anichcal cells, reactive histiocytes, subcutaneous nodules, tilde 10% of cases occur on the extensor surfaces of the forearms. Nodules are very similar to those seen in rheumatoid arthritis, RA. Centers of the nodules have fibrinoid necrosis. Erythema marginatum M presents as evanescent circular rings or C-shaped areas of erythema around normal skin, till a 10% of cases. Sydenham chorea is characterized by reversible rapid, involuntary movements affecting all the muscles, till a 10% of cases. It is a late manifestation of acute RF. Diagnosis of RF, revised Jones criteria. Two or more major manifestations or one major and two minor manifestations. Major criteria include carditis, polyarthritis, joint swelling, chorea, erythema, marginatum and subcutaneous nodules. Minor criteria include previous RF, arthralgia, pain without joint swelling, fever, increased acute phase reactants. Increased erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, increased C-reactive protein, CRP, absolute neutrophilic leukocytosis. 3. Prolonged PR interval, first-degree heart block. Laboratory test findings include Increased antistreptolysin OASO titers greater than 400 tied units. Titers peak at 4 to 5 weeks after streptococcal pharyngitis. High titers are supportive but not diagnostic of acute RF.
increased anti-DN also be titers, less reliable than also titers, positive throat culture, evidence of a recent group A streptococcal infection is particularly significant if there is only one major criteria. Prevention. Rheumatic fever can be prevented by effectively and promptly treating strep throat with antibiotics. In those who have previously had rheumatic fever, antibiotics in a preventative manner are occasionally recommended. As of 2017 the evidence to support long-term antibiotics in those with underlying disease is poor. The American Heart Association suggests that dental health be maintained and that people with a history of bacterial endocarditis, a heart transplant, artificial heart valves, or some types of congenital heart defects may wish to consider long-term antibiotic prophylaxis. Treatment. The management of rheumatic fever is directed toward the reduction of inflammation with anti-inflammatory medications such as aspirin or corticosteroids. Individuals with positive cultures for strep throat should also be treated with antibiotics. Penicillin taken by mouth for 10 days is the most common antibiotic treatment prescribed for tonsillitis caused by group A streptococcus. Tonsillectomy also may be used for prevention recurrent tonsillar infections. About 33 million people are affected by rheumatic heart disease with an additional 47 million having asymptomatic damage to their heart valves. As of 2010 globally it resulted in 345,000 deaths, down from 463,000 in 1990.